Right, here we go. Asked to do a video. This is fresh off the press. Sarah Gigante, I was out this morning riding. Um, I was coming down Norton Summit this morning with Emily and Anna. And we saw Sarah Gigante reaming it up Norton Summit. Just, you know, snarling. Just smashing it up there. And I was thinking, it looks like she's going for the, the, you know, the KOM. But it's, it's a bit of a headwind day. And I'm thinking, ah, she won't get it today. The, the car is very fast and it's done, you know, pace and stuff like that. And it's a headwind today. So I thought, nah, she won't get it. Anyway, um, I saw Sarah later on. She was looking on her phone with the, with the, like she was thinking something. So I went over there and said, hey, did you get the KOM? She said, nah, she's a super friendly girl. Like, cycling, you get a lot of really clicky people and it's really like, you know, nah, nah. she doesn't know who I am. And she just said, hey, you know, nah. And we're just chatting and, um, she got the KOM. And I was like, no way. You got it today in this wind? She's like, yeah. Just, you know, just very, very humble, very, very chill. And she's like, do you know where Monocute Road is? And I said, yeah, I used to live on it. She goes, do you want to pace me or do you want to show me where it is? And I said, yeah, I can pace you. And then, you know, then you can just jump around me when when you're, when you're the pace, the pace is too slow. Anyway, so we, we go to Monocute Road and she drops me. <laughs> I've never been dropped like that, ever. And I've ridden with, you know, a lot of elite level women in the last 23 years of racing you know from Alana Burns back in the 90s and Rachel uh, Linky and Alexis Rhodes and Rachel Nalen um, star riders you know Kathy Watt um, Katie McTeer uh, you know a lot out there over the years AIS you know back in 2001 and stuff so you know, had I know what you know a fit woman can do and this I've never seen nothing like this granted my form isn't the best ever right now but I can still spot super talent. This is not talent. This is super talent. This person, Sarah, is is one in a one in a zillion. All right, anyway, so let's have a look at the data here. So we've got Norton Summit. She did a 1338. Norton Summit, you know. <laughs> now, they, now, to appreciate this, this is a solo on a heavy bike. Like she's on a disc brake bike. It's heavy. It's probably about eight kilos. Mid-7s, eight kilos. Um, you know, so not even paced by anyone. Just, you know, doesn't really know how to climb that well. Just go out there doing it. Because you can. And then Green Hill Road. Let's, 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 get, let's, let's get his climbs up here. We've got, uh, this is Norton Summit. This is the fabled Norton Summit. Let's click, click on here, see what sort of watts and stuff like that. So people ask me, is this legit? What was going on here? So this is 100% legit. This is 100% legit. Um, so my best time, 12.57. And we're going to go over here to the women here. So Sarah Gigante. Feb this is today, February 14th. Uh, 2.57 watts. I think her power meter is probably not reading. I think the power might be a bit higher than that. Um, I think the power meter's maybe not reading that. She's, I reckon she's probably about 45 kilos. She's very, very slim. Small, petite pocket rocket of a rider. I think she did a bit more power than that. Um, but then again, maybe the power meter is accurate and she can go even faster. I think she could if she was paced and had better conditions. Yeah, so that's uh, that's a crazy time. All right, so let's go back to Super Sunday. Sarah's called it. We're going to go to the Monocute Road. Um... Uh, paced her for the start. So you can see here, Solo Norton Green Hill. Pace in the bottom half of Norton. Thanks, Monocute. Not sure about the power. So I would agree with that. But, you know, I mean, like mentioning that, you know, she was paced as well. It's just a humble rider who just loves to ride. You know, this girl just loves riding a bike. And it's quite interesting. I had a bit of a stalk on her Instagram page. I even talked to her mum a few weeks ago at the Tour Down Under. We just bumped into her. Didn't know who she was. Didn't know who I was. We were just chatting. She let my daughter Sarah's in the race. I said, Sarah Gigante, the one who's ripping all her legs off. And we had a bit of a chat and she was mentioning how much Sarah likes her lollies and oats and just carbon up and stuff like that. But she's had a just a childhood on the bike. Just, you know, a cyclist cyclist. Someone you just, just you know, I've never seen a girl um, into cycling this much. It's fantastic to see. I mean, at this level, it's just like, you know, she just lives, breathes the bike. Monocute Road... Uh, this is where I pace Sarah to just before this climb starts. Pace to, to where that climb starts. And uh, my best time, 18.25. Today, Sarah did it 18.15. 18.15. Um, a crazy fast time. Crazy fast time. Um, dropped 40, 35 seconds off the uh, KOM there. And again, not so, not that good of conditions. You know, not favorable conditions today. So quite uh, amazing um, pace there. Let's go to Green Hill Road and Sarah Gigante. This is a 7k climb. Uh, Sarah did a 21 
I think it's, maybe it hasn't been updated yet, but mine's best. 21, 50, 51. Chris Harper, very, very good climber. 17, <laughs> that's just like mutant. But um, Sarah Gianta, here we are. The QOM, 21, 23. 21, 23. That's 30 seconds faster than my PR. And I did that with good wins and uh, with a couple of mates. So that's just, you know, crazy. So she could go even faster than that. But look at that, just... You know, putting all the guys to shame even today. Just crazy times. Very, very fast. Very, 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 very fast. Um, crazy. And the heart rate. Not even there that high yet. So, And she did three KOMs today in a row. <laughs> so Norton's, Green Hill, and then Monica. Like, not many people just, we separate, just like pick, just target one. And she's done three in a row. So freaky riding uh, and great riding. And this is a good example of like, I've got some footage here of Sarah riding on. Got the GoPro. I normally have a GoPro filming most of the time, just for getting shots and safety and you know stuff like that. But so this is a bit of B-roll here. You see, very very lean. You know, very very lean, slim rider, but in a good headspace as well. Like she just loves to ride. She loves the cycling gadgets, and you know she even had um, yeah, just she loves to ride a bike. It's just great to see um, someone who's at that level, but also just super friendly. Just like yeah, let's go do, let's go do a KM. It's all good, you know, like. Even on the downhill, she was, you know, she was flexing, um, and then she put a bit of time in me on the downhill. I was just taking it easy, and ever since my concussion, my downhilling's been even not so not so crash hot. But she even waited up for me on the downhill, and said thanks for pacing me, blah blah blah. But just yeah, just a super nice girl, and it's good to see people of that level, just like staying humble, and uh, just loves the ride, loves the bike. So that's really good. A fantastic ambassador for female cycling. Sarah is for sure, and I've known a lot of cyclists over the years, and some you know people are a little bit not probably not the best to bring people in the sport, but Sarah is a good face for women cycling, and um yeah just loves the bike man, just loves it. So <laughs> putting us guys to shame even on the climbs, and she hadn't been Adelaide that long. Imagine if she lived here. And that's another thing as well that she grew up in Melbourne, Melbourne. So if you're fit, if you're this fit and living in Melbourne. Imagine what you know. Time in Adelaide is going to do. You're going to go to next level, right? So that that's another thing that just shows the tenacity there. If you can be this fit from living in Melbourne, growing up in Melbourne, that's crazy. You know what I mean? Like, what good cyclists come out of Melbourne? You know, not many because it's just not a city. It's not a cycling culture of fitness. It's a cycling commuting culture, and it's fantastic like that. But it doesn't have that sort of fitness element that Adelaide has. Adelaide is just a cyclist playground. You know, it's fantastic. Anyway, that's the video. Times is 100% legit. Um, lucky enough to witness it. Crazy times. And, um, will this spark a comeback, a, a battle with Carly Taylor? I know she had all of these KOMs taken to Carly Taylor. Also a very good rider. Will Carly suck? I think I can hear a clipping in the pedals already. Will she be going for these KOMs? Um, that would be good to see. It's good fun battles. And everyone gets fitter. And that's the cool thing about Strava. Uphill comms and uh, for the win and that's the video if you want any questions let us know down below we might even do a uh, see if we can get if you want Sarah to do an interview with me or Natasha ask us some questions about cycling and tips and stuff like that let us know down below but yeah fantastic effort welcome to Adelaide people come over to Adelaide Melbourne's got a lockdown at the moment like I'm telling people man if you're a cyclist come to Adelaide come to Adelaide this is where it's at this is where cycling's at if you're a competitive level cyclist or you just like cycling Adelaide, there's plenty of room for you. The roads are always open here. Racing's on. Strava's open. Let's rock and roll. See you next video.